Hello friends, everybody around the world has got dreams in life, everybody has got goals in life. We are all employees or self-employed or we do trading, you know, we are having small shops or we are involved in any activities. Now, because we are all middle class people, there is one thing common in everybody, in all of us normally. We have heard about dreams and we have been taught or we have been, you know, assuming that dreams are only one thing which has been, which has to be visualized or seen while sleeping. That's why we see daydreaming or, you know, we see dreams while we sleep. But there are few people around the world has got this guts to dream beyond their limits, beyond their capacity and they have proven that that dream and focus towards that goal and they have made that people reach where they, they are right now, they, they have to reach where they want in their life. So what is the difference between them and us? Why do we don't reach to that, that particular point when we compare with those people? So today I'm going to talk regarding this subject. Dare to dream and have guts to crack your goals. Now, even I'm going a further point fetched in this subject. I'm going to read out some uh, important points in front of you, which is the biggest obstacle or which is the biggest bondage for any person that doesn't allow that person to think big or explore big dreams or goals in life. One, premistic attitude. People, they have got, you know, so many people have got some great attitude like, you know, this is not my cup of tea, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, I am really going to do this. This is only meant for me. You need to understand the world has changed totally before COVID and after COVID. It is not the same way what we had before COVID and after COVID right now. So if we don't change as per the technology changes, as per the things changes, we may be left behind and people will take over. You know, they, they will overtake us and they will get success in life. The second point is fear of failure. Many people have that fear to get into, you know, uh, if they are failed, they get fear. You know, we have, we have, we are reading in books, you know, we normally we hear in news and we are reading in newspapers and all. Uh, children get suicide if they get failed in 10th exam. Uh, you know, children get suicide if they are uh, failed in some matter. People go into depression and all those stuff. Why do you get into depression? Why do you commit suicide? Failure is not the end of life, no. Failure is, a, you know, it's something, a purification of life. You need to be proud that if you have failed in something, that failure makes you, you know, that really that failure helps you to polish you and move forward so that you can get success in life. So you have to accept the failure. You know, when you accept failures, you can achieve success in life. Third point, lack of ambition. Many people, they don't have ambition. They don't know for what they are living. They don't know for what they are dying. So you have to be ambitious in life. You need to have a clear cut, you know, you know, you have to be objective. You have to have a clear cut goal that exactly 10 years down the line or 20 years down the line, 15 years down the line, where exactly you want to reach in your life. And if you don't have, if you have fear of fear of failure, lack of ambition, lack of rejection, lack of prosecution, premistic attitude, these are the hurdles, these are the Bondages, these are the obstacles which is stopping you to grow in your life. Next is fear of rejection. You always we think like we are, when I am starting a new show, I want to start a new project, I want to start a new organization, I want to start a new shop. What people are going to think about me? If I go and uh, you know introduce my uh, business opportunity or my possibility to some, some of my friends or some of my colleagues, how are they going to see about it? They are going to reject it. They don't know the depth of this what you are planning. They are going to demotivate you. They are going to drag you. They are going to 
bully you, insult you, and they are going to make you a zero. So, lack of rejection is one of the biggest hurdles. Last, prosecution. People try to prosecute you through telling you that this is not good for you, this, that person has done this, this person has done this, it's a failure, you are also going to lose your time, money, and all those stuff. They will, they will pour negative in your mind and you will be tracked down. These are the steps which will, if you overcome this step, you can achieve success in life. Now, when I am talking to the next, when I am, you know, when I am moving a step further in this, you need to understand how you can set your goals. You have to have that guts. Write down your dreams, what you want to achieve in your life. Identify your dreams, what you want in your life. It may be small dreams or it may be big dreams, no issues. Write it down. Now it's 2020. By 2025 or 2030, I want to achieve these things. Write down the date on that. I want to buy a car. Write the name of the car and you know, write the brand name of the car, what is the price of the car, what is the color of the car, how the interior should be, how the exterior. Everything has to be, it is it has to come from your heart. Write it down. Then set a date. Identify your own goals. You, as I told you, write your goals. You have to identify your own goals. Sit and need and analyze your goals. What you want, when you want, and what is your plan, identical plan to achieve it. Then, list benefits and obstacles. List of, write down the list of the benefits what you have going to get from that goal. Also write down the obstacles which is going to come when you are attempting to achieve that goal. Write it down. Then, what you do is, Create a plan of action. You have to create a fantastic plan of action to achieve that goal. It may be, what are you going to do today? Within one week, within one month, within uh, you know uh, six, three months, six months, one year, three years on the end. Write it down completely. Try to associate with that project people who have got high frequency, high voltage and they are successful in that project whatever you like anything what you do what you plan to do and always share your goals share your thoughts share your ideas with those successful people and take advice from those people consistently act on that goal act on that you live in that goal you have to live in that you have to act on that you have to pursue on that Obstacles will come, people will laugh at you, people will try to bully you, you know, people will try to drag you down, everything is going to happen. Just focus on that one thing, what you are going to achieve in your life. Give your 200% for that. Keep moving, keep pursuing. Forget about the world, just keep only focused on that. And when you achieve it, celebrate with those people who have stood with you. You know, there is a saying called, Action speaks more than words. Action speaks more than words. So, get into action. Set periodical evaluate goals. I mean, set periodically, evaluate your goals. You know, you have to always evaluate and you have to measure your goals. And you have to measure your growth also. As you are growing, you have to keep on, you know, measurizing your, your goals. These are the simple formats. If it is done on the right track, on the right path, you know, it's it's done. Framing your goal is most important point. And it's you need to understand that you, it should be meaningful goals. And you need to understand that you are doing it for yourself. People will say so many things regarding that, but you have to understand that you are doing it for yourself. And when you are doing it for yourself, no power in this world can set you or no power in this world can reveal you from that particular goal in your life. Right? Secondary, you need to like, secondary you have to, your goals must be challenging and it should be exciting. When you are setting up your goal, your goal should be so much of challenged. You may have heard about people going to the moon or people climbing the Everest. It's a goal to reach the top of Everest. The same way you have to challenge yourself. 
you have to have it should be exciting and you have to challenge yourself that your goal should be so exciting you have to exact right things you have to be very powerful and very very intact doing that second it should be time contact you know it's, it should be time tangible you have to set your time that when are you really going to achieve your goals what what are the things what you need to achieve it when you need to achieve it your goals must be alignment with your values your core values is most important in life it's it's always said that if uh, if uh, if you lose money you can earn money but if character is lost if nothing you cannot you know, your life is lost so your values are most your ethics and values uh, remain the most important point so give values in life you are timing like your investment regarding your time you are you know you are uh, that's your investment if i am doing some like if i am setting a goal and if i am dedicated to that that goal means i am investing my time i am giving value for that so value value of money value of time value of respect value for you know uh, value value of uh, uh, appreciating others value of listening you need to have a value in life if you need to achieve something in your life then your goals must be balanced always you know you need to balance your goal at the same time you are you are happy you are enjoying your work at the same time you are totally dedicated and you are totally involved in your dreams and goals when your dreams and goals work with your passion your dedication your commitment and your enjoyment towards your duties that's it you achieve it your goals must be realistic in life you have to be very realistic when you are choosing your goals and your dreams it's not like you know it's something like you are seeing a dream while you are sleeping no it's something like you are seeing a dream for a better future for generations and generations and generations and that really matters the most your goals must include contribution you have to contribute to the towards your goal now what are the contributions contributions what you have your time is the most biggest contribution your money is the most biggest contribution you are not investing for others but you are investing for yourself you need to invest for yourself you need to invest for your own things contribution is most important when you are planning your goals and dreams in life then comes the next point your goals need to be supported so as i said surround yourself with those people who are intently supporting you you are really you know who are giving it should be like the same vibes what you have you are you have to associate to you you know you need to associate yourself with those people who are who are having the same kind of vibes so definitely that will help you to grow in your life and last point you are here you need to select the path to the goal from the start till the goals the distance between your start and the goals you will be having so much of obstacles bondages problems and issues but if you dare to see beyond that goal you have got success in life then this obstacles this thorns what you have the bleeding thorns what you have will never be a point for you thank you so much ladies and gentlemen i hope you like this video if you like this video kindly subscribe the uh, channel press the subscribe button and there's a bell beyond this press it so that you will be getting such great great subject videos i'll be bringing up with some phenomenal videos like this to you and really my duty is to bring light to your life so thank you so much signing off till then we will meet in next videos till then have a great day god bless you all wish you all abundance thank you